We're just curious about the imposition of new contracts on the teaching staff at Lambeth College. Two weeks loss of holidays, extra hour contact time and an extension uh, of our working week. That's five weeks extra work with no extra pay. And uh, an erosion of our sick pay conditions. At the moment we get six months full pay if you're sick and then after the six months you get six months half pay. They've worked out if they cut that to four months full pay, two months half pay, they will save £20,000 a year. The number of our colleagues that have that length of sickness is very small and usually it's someone who's got a very severe illness. We can contrast that with our principal who already has a plush office at Clapham but also has got the college to spend £35,000 to refurbish his office in Vauxhall. We had the highest turnout in a, in a ballot of over 70% with about a 96% vote for all out strike action. Our employers unfortunately went to the courts and they've got an injunction to stop us. If they're able to force this contract onto us at Lambeth College, you can rest assured that this will be rolled out across the country in every other further education college. We shouldn't forget the management's proposals to shut the Brixton Centre, a centre that's been there again for almost a hundred years, providing the community with excellent second chance education. Oh, I'd rather be a got no justification financially, we've asked for a costing, there isn't one. Every claim they've made, we've said, you know, give us the evidence, and, and they can't provide it. Like all public services since austerity started, we've been doing more for less for the last four years. You know, we are stretched to the limit, but we want to give a good service to students. We are finding it really difficult, especially at, at Vauxhall and Brixton, which where the centres are, you know, really run down and really need investment. You know, we, we don't have anything, we don't have... Uh, Post-it notes, we don't, I've recycled my dividers so many times now that I'm having to tip X out the originals and they're falling apart. You know, we, we don't have the basic things that we need to teach a lot of the time. What's been said is that if we reword the ballot with wording that's agreed by the court, then we can reballot and go out. UCU have said they can turn that around inside of two weeks. So the proposal that we're putting forward as committee is does this branch accept that we will make sure that we can do it inside of two weeks and if that's the case then we go for a reballot. Yes. 15% of people in this country don't have any qualifications whatsoever. That's one in five in 50 boroughs in this country and they're sacking lecturers in one college alone. In Hatfield College, 180 lecturers yesterday were told they could lose their jobs. Unison, alongside UCU, are balloting for strike action. And we've been clear with our members that we are asking them also to vote for indefinite strike action. And we've been campaigning for a yes vote on that basis. When he went for that injunction, he changed the nature of this dispute. It's no longer just a dispute for everybody in Lambeth, protecting our college. It's no longer just nationally relevant for everyone in FE. This is now a dispute for the entire Labour movement. Yeah. Thank you.